people stare at me all day long. No matter where I go, they stare at me. And um, I was looking forward to an opportunity to feel normal. Even though people saw me take my leg off, I I wanted to show them that even with a disability, I'm, I'm a normal person. I wanted to feel normal and um, they asked me to leave, so. Silver Dollar City, but I wanted to show you my little hack. I think I'm so smart. It's probably not going to work, but I have stacked my socks on my legs that I might need to use on here, and I even shoved my son's socks in there as a pocket because I'm probably going to need socks today, so we'll see if it works. I will let you know. Handicap parking is right up front. It's in lot one, and it is right before the gate. Here's the gate there's our car so it's really really easy just go to gate one Conductors up there looking for Yankees, leaving y'all here with us. Where are those two notorious train run bowlers? What we've got here's a stick up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll give you just a minute, okay? Thank you so much. How about you, buddy? You look loaded. <laughs> <laughs> you even look like y'all money, too, I tell you. When we go into that fantastic, it's going to be our last night in the hole. Let it go, Sean. Say, Bye, in the hole. We're all being awesome. Pesky old ball members on the town last night. That part of the city on fire. Stretched out a little bit, but not so bad that I can't use it. Oh. 
looking up. Go, Lucky, go! Enjoy the ride! Leather craftsman. Yes, yes, keep going, keep going, you got it, you got it, nope, put your, put your paws together, your horseshoes together, make your knuckles touch, yep, there, you got it, you did it, okay, now put it on, there you go, you did it, alright. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> okay, we gotta get this right side. 
I'm putting these videos out there so that people can avoid embarrassment and um, I hope you watch this before you go to Silver Dollar City there's two rides you can't ride um, with an amputation a leg amputation I had called ahead of time to avoid this embarrassment we waited in the line of the time traveler they waited for me to take my leg off, as you saw. And then they waited an extended period amount of time for me to put it on. The entire place was staring at me. And um, the reason that it bothers me is because people stare at me all day long. No matter where I go, they stare at me. And um, I was looking forward to an opportunity to feel normal. Even though people saw me take my leg off, I... I wanted to show them that even with a disability, I'm, I'm a normal person. I wanted to feel normal and um, they asked me to leave. So, um, there's two rides you can't ride and I'll, um, I'll be right back with you to tell you which ones those are. Um, we're at the front gate and we have a refund and we'll go find something else fun to do together in Branson. I'm so scared that I'll get on another ride and um, the employees won't know the protocol and it'll be an uh, embarrassment all over again even though I called ahead of time and, um, and they're supposed to know which rides I can ride and which ones I can't. I'm afraid that they're going to ask me to get off of one and it'll be a confrontation and embarrassment all over again so we just decided that we would go and do something else. And I was really looking forward to this day because I got a babysitter for today to enjoy time with my family as a person, as a human, instead of as a mom. I love Silver Dollar City. I always have and I always will and I will go back. And I highly recommend it if you want to go visit there too. This was my first negative experience I've ever had and I've been there a lot of times. And the park and the staff did exactly what they were supposed to do, which is to keep me safe. I thought I had done my due diligence by calling ahead and checking the website to find out if I could participate in all of the rides. Because if I wasn't able to, we would have chosen somewhere else to go. As a new amputee, I don't know the protocol. I don't know the questions to ask. I was assured by the person that I spoke to on the phone that I would be able to participate in all of the rides. She said we would never discriminate against anybody with a disability. If you feel like you're physically capable of doing it, you absolutely can partake in everything. However, there might be a couple of rides that you might need to take your leg off for. Absolutely fine. I was completely prepared for that. She was very sure of herself and her answers. Um, and so I took it as the truth and that she knew exactly what she was talking about because it was coming from a person who worked for the park or so I thought and what happened to me at the park is by no means discrimination this was for safety reasons and for that I am truly thankful after speaking to the manager at the park just shortly after I was asked to leave the ride because of my amputation I asked him what happened why did this happen what's going on I called ahead and now this is happening. I feel humiliated. What's the deal? He was very kind and gentle in his response to us, but he said the person that you talked to on the phone was a third party answering service meant to answer questions and help people with their tickets. 
Shortly after leaving the park, it bothered me a lot that I didn't see anything on the website and that I got the wrong information on the phone. So I went to digging on their website and this is what I found. So I hope in my experience that as a new amputee yourself or as an amputee that hasn't been to an amusement park yet, that this will help prompt some of the answers that we need to be asking. We need to be asking if we have to have a certain bone on our body in order to participate fully in whatever that is. And if you can, just in case you're talking to an answering service, call the actual park. I don't know how this could have been avoided in my case because I looked at the website and I called the park. I thought I was good to go. But in the future, now I know a couple extra steps that I might need to take in order to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And you do too. I hope that you found value in this video. And I also hope that you decide to visit Silver Dollar City because it is one of the coolest places I have ever been. And I will love it until I die. I hope that you go see Branson, Missouri. There's something there for everybody. If you decide to go, make sure you ask some of the specific questions that sometimes we don't know to ask, but that's why these videos are out there so that we can gain a little bit more knowledge and understanding of what we're dealing with and how to walk through it in our daily life. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips like this in the future, and I'll see you on the next video.